Hey, so just a quick video tonight because I'm writing and I really want to get back to it. But first things first, this weekend on Saturday, my parents and I went car shopping and I bought a car. I'm really happy with it and I really like it. I haven't named it yet. I have to come up with a name. My mom wants to name it something stupid like Blue Moon. And I was like, no, those are stupid names. And then Adam wants to name it Jezebel. I think it's unfair for them to be pressuring me to name it something already. I mean, I've only just had it for two days now. Hardly had any time to drive it. Let me think about it first. Back to the writing thing. Oh my god. I'm just now writing the part where Sherlock figures out that the guy who's been murdering all these women is the same person as the monster, which is the guy who's been tormenting Ham, my main character. And... Oh my gosh, I just love that part so much because once Sherlock figures it out, like, he, like, John says something and Sherlock all of a sudden, like, click. It clicks for Sherlock that these two people, these two people who he thought were two completely different people, were the same. And he turns to Hannah and he's like, the monster? And Hannah just is like, yes. <laughs> And Sherlock is devastated by this because he's always painted Hannah as this sort of innocent figure, whereas his other love interest, Irene, was always this very dark, mysterious character in his life. And on the opposite side of that, there's Hannah, who was always this very innocent and pure character in his life and then he's just finding out that she's not as innocent as he believed in the beginning and it's crushing him it's devastating to him and so he leaves and john is very confused he doesn't know what just happened he's he knows that they were talking about the murderer and then all of a sudden they're talking about a monster and Sherlock just leaves. Hannah's not saying anything. She's just being quiet, staring at a wall, and she's just sitting there and she won't talk to him. And so he calls Molly, Hannah's sister, and Molly's like, I've only ever seen her like this once. And it's when she'd just moved in with her boyfriend at the time, Molly who didn't know there was a boy, just knew that Hannah had moved apartments. Hannah had come over to Molly's house and was acting just like that, just being really quiet, just staring at a wall, wouldn't say anything. And then when she got up to leave, Molly, her sleeve slipped up her arm and Molly noticed bruises all along her arm. And she didn't know what happened to Hannah, she didn't know if someone hit her, or if she'd get hit by a car, or if uh, she would fell down the stairs, or what happened. All she knew was her sister was covered in bruises and being strangely silent, so she got very concerned. She, Molly says that Hannah's only like this when she's heartbroken. I just love it so much and I want to write some more. Gosh, I love this story so much, but it is so frustrating. I have so many ideas around in my head, like one of the major par parts that I'm getting up to writing that I've been so excited to write is um, to protect Hannah, Sherlock and Hannah leave the country. They go, they come to the United States and they're staying in a cabin at um, a lake. I've been so excited to write this part because a sense of what their life would be like if it was just the two of them. And also while they're there, they get a sense of what their life might have been like if they had met back before all this happened. And it's just a really cutesy part. It's a whole lot of fluff. It's basically pure fluff. But it's also like, it's taking the whole crime solving thing on a back burner and progressing more of the lovey-dovey love interest thing. I really should be showing more emotion about my 
car and less emotion about my story, but Sherlock's been on the brain recently. I mean, they start filming in only a couple weeks for the new season, and I'm so excited about it. So that's what's happening to me. I got a car. I'm writing a Sherlock fanfiction, and I just got to a really good part. <sighs> See you tomorrow.